Okay, the skipper is in dock, Brian Gartland. Brian, um, this, the Crumlin or the Temple Street uh, Children's uh, University Hospital this afternoon, the launch in conjunction with Dundalk, I see it's a great initiative. It's brilliant. You know, I think we summed it up and said it all in the in the press conference there that um, it really is a great move by the club and uh, you know as players we're proud to be part of, of something uh, so significant and, and so worthwhile and such a worthy cause. Um, it's it's close to everyone in this country, you know, everyone's got someone to know that's needed, I suppose, treatments um, or care, you know, from, from Temple Street. Um, and uh, it's it's the essence of community and that's what the club has been trying to do for the last while and, and really build the ties with the community and, and be part of everyone's life. It's fantastic too, like, is, you know, the way there's there is there are all the shortages in health and fundraising in any matter of capacity is so important and you know this is a good feeder of finance from Dundalk FC to Temple Street. Yeah, it is, and and from Fife, you know they're they're part of it, and CX yeah. obviously on board there with it. So, um, the three entities, um, and as I said. Earlier on, Temple Street, we went to visit John, uh, showed us around, and um, it there, your eyes. yeah, it opens your eyes, but also he, he told us a lot of information about it, and it's majority of it's fundraising money that keeps it going, millions and millions of it in fundraising money, and you know we're in a country with with such wealth, mm. um, and we're we're very privileged here that it's unfortunate things like that still have to be fundraised for for care for, for the likes of children and if without people like this on Temple Street you know we would be stuck you know there'll be plenty of people in this country stuck and and um, so for us to help out it's only in a small way probably in the grand scale of things but you know we're trying to do our bit and help out and we had the wee girl there that it was recovering from a stroke and but for Temple Street God knows where she'd be yeah Freya she's a beautiful it's little child kids. kicking the ball around where yeah. they're there she's, she's great fun um, so yeah and it shows and like I said everybody's got connections to, to somebody or a family that's, that's been there whether it's Temple Street or Crumlin's Children's Hospital or you know anywhere so to support the cause it's just it's brilliant and yeah there's so many examples of it um, and you know hopefully with, with more fundraising and, and initiatives like this all over the country and that it, it continues to grow and Temple Street's I suppose um, like the facilities they have are, are top class um, when we saw and they, they provide the best care so um, they need fundraising like this and, and plenty more to continue to do that and to advance care Turn into to, to Friday and on, on, on the field as well, Cork City. Um, you need to say no more. It's the, the two teams that have dominated football for the last five years. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a title rival game. There's still the edge. There's still the bite. There's fierce competitors. Only two points between us. So um, we're looking forward to you know a good game Friday night to be real edge to it and great atmosphere. And we're uh, yeah really looking forward to that. There's uh, you know talk that Cork uh, team squad has been weakened somewhat because of the cutback in finance, but it doesn't appear like that on the field. John Caulfield is still weaving his magic. Yeah, listen, they've still the three or four main centre midfielders they go through that they use. Um, you know, their stalwarts that have been there over the years and won trophies with them. They've got a back four, plenty of experience, and, and they wouldn't concede many goals. And then Shepard, Cummins, um, obviously there's a doubt, and Darrell O'Connor, mm. who has been great against us in the President's Cup. Um, but the other two names, and, and there's a couple more they can bring in, they've got great quality there. So whatever 11 they put out, they'll be competitive, strong, and, and looking to, to get and the team didn't talk the last two games before the break. You were absolutely outstanding. Derry said he had talked. The team was fabulous. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I thought it was a good performance in it. It's a tough ground, obviously. The, the crowd up there were Derry started well, and the crowd up there were, were really behind them. But we managed the game really well. We scored at good times, and um, yeah, I thought our game management and that was was excellent. Um, it's a different type of performance, maybe to some other games and. We've played at times, but you need to do that, and you need to be versatile, and you need to be able to change, and, and I suppose, like you say, manage games to uh, to get the right result. Shamrock Rovers look to be a very strong team there, and I know they're seven points in front at the moment, but you have two games in hand, but uh, I think they're going to be right up there at the end of the season too. 
Yeah, you're right, they will leave us. Everyone knew before the start of the season they would be, so you know, we don't worry about other things, it's just ourselves. Um, if we haven't done enough at the end of the season, it's ourselves to blame, nobody else. So uh, there's no point, you know, we're not looking at other teams yeah. or the tables, and that we never do, even when we're out in front or we're on, sort of thing. So we just keep plodding along, look after ourselves. But you've, you've been you've been going well, the team the team are playing very well at the moment, and you know, that, that that's uh, it's down to the credit of the team and the management. Yeah, thanks. You know, we, we yeah, we've good performance, but there's plenty more to come, but thanks. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. Nice character. James and Andy, just grab me for a minute and a half. Of course, Chris. I like it.